of trial has been eight fatalities and seven pedestrian fatalities. We'll go with that. Superintendent Earl Whitty of Toronto Police Traffic Service. Good morning. Since January 10th of this year, eight people have lost their lives on Toronto Road. Seven of these have been pedestrians. Five women and two men. They've been between the ages of 31 and 80. Some had control of their fate, others didn't. They were struck in the morning, the evening, during the night. They were struck during good weather, bad weather, daylight, darkness. They were hit by small vehicles to the largest ones on our roads. They were struck from the downtown to the suburbs of Toronto, at intersections and mid blocks. The only common thread between all of these deaths are they involve two things, vehicles and pedestrians. Vehicles don't injure or kill by themselves, the humans operating them set that in motion. Traffic controls provide a guide for a right of way. Humans being aware, sound decision, and common sense dictate that you should take that right of way. Just because you're right doesn't mean you need to be right. Human error is the real cause of the accident of the collision we've had. Human decisions have dictated that. Human choices have changed so many lives in the last 12 days. Ensuring pedestrian and traffic safety is a priority for the Toronto Police Service. While we strive to reduce the number of collisions across Toronto, we hope the perception of our road users is that they are safe. Statistics tell us they are safe. Toronto is one of the safest cities in the world for traffic. In 2009, we saw the fewest number of road deaths in modern history. Even with only 48 deaths last year, our most vulnerable road users, pedestrians and cyclists, they're telling us we don't feel safe. The police service wants to change those feelings to reflect that by and large, you're safe on our streets. Toronto has witnessed unexplained short-term spike in both pedestrian and vehicle deaths and injury collisions in the past many times. Our belief is that this is a spike once again, only with more attention as our neighbours in the GTA and surrounding area have shared that. But it is not the nature of the police service to wait for a short-term rise in crime to just take care of itself. And we will not wait for this to go away by itself either. Traffic services and all divisions across the city are engaging this problem by having officers pay special attention to pedestrian and driving offenses that put lives at risk. Enforcement and education are tools that have been shown to effectively increase safety for our pedestrians and drivers. The Toronto Police Service will increase its efforts to educate when the opportunity arises and enforce when warranted. The people of Toronto have told us that the enforcement for lawbreakers needs to be increased to establish a sense of civility and mutual respect on our roads so that those who walk, bicycle or drive within the bounds of safety and cooperation become the norm and not the exception. Drivers cannot operate with a sense of entitlement to our roads with a me-first attitude. Nor can pedestrians. They must not walk with the belief that all drivers see them and therefore compromise their own safety by not taking ownership of their own actions. Pedestrians can expect that when they interfere with traffic while crossing the road, don't use crosswalks properly or endanger their own lives and the lives of others, they will be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Drivers who make, don't make a safe operation of their vehicles paramount can be expected to be treated equally. Toronto Police Service will, will strategically position officers where problems have occurred based on volumes or actions. Road safety is everyone's responsibility. It's a responsibility that begins and ends with everyone stepping up their doorway. It is all of our responsibility to take care and cooperate. To those who have died, to Marita, Nohad, Lena, Leovina, Chen, Jonas, and Juliet. You may become known in the data analysis and media reports as numbers, but you are sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, to those who loved you, 
for that, the people of Toronto owe it to your memory to learn from the loss of your lives to prevent future deaths from happening. Anybody have any questions for the superintendent? Oh, sure. Younger ones that we could focus a little more. The thing is, that's not there. 